I wanted to get a new pair of boots for outdoor usage. And I've had these Danners for a long, long time. They still got life in them, but they're, uh, they're just starting to wear out. I saw these Rockies online and they were a good price. I'll put a link and a screenshot in here so you can see exactly what I got and how much I paid for them and the whole nine yards. But I like the look of these. They look nice. And putting them on my foot initially, I couldn't believe how comfortable they were and how well they fit. They fit absolutely perfect. My foot's on the wider side. These are a 10 and a half wide and they fit my foot perfectly. I couldn't ask for a better fit. So fortunately, I know that I'm not going to be doing any heavy usage out of these. So hopefully I can get maximum life and keep them waterproof and water resistant, I should say. I don't think any leather boots are ever waterproof, but keep them water resistant. That one boot weighs 2.13 pounds. They're almost identical. This is 2.14 I'll do an update down the road sometime and show how they're holding out and how I think they're performing. A long time ago when I used to be a surveyor, maybe 20 plus years ago, give or take, you know, boots were a very important part of that job and making sure that your feet stayed dry. I was never ever a fan of Rocky boots and the first pair of Rocky boots that I bought to go surveying, I was literally standing in a in a small little shallow puddle that was about this deep right here. And these were Gore-Tex hunting boots. I stood in it for maybe 45 seconds or a minute and I could feel them leaking and they were virtually brand new. So I've never had a good opinion about Rocky boots ever since that experience with those Rocky boots. These are some Danner boots that I've had for probably 15 plus years. I hadn't shown them a lot of love, but once in a while I'll put Neat's foot oil on them to try to condition the leather the soles have peeled off almost all the way, and I've had them re-glued back on, and they're holding pretty good. But for, for me, one of the most annoying things is how they squeak when you walk. You can just hear these things squeaking, and it's so annoying. I said, it's time to upgrade my boots, and I found these on Amazon. I mean, I know they're Rockies. I know they're going to be, I hate to say it, but a cheaper type boot. But I got them, and they're a 10 and a half wide and they fit my foot like a glove right out of the box. So for comfort, I'll give these a 10. As I've gotten older, my outside activity is not nearly as vigorous as it used to be like in my surveying days. So I can probably get a good amount of life out of these. I'll be curious to see how waterproof they actually are. So as time goes on, I'll do an update and let you know if I think these things are holding up waterproof wise. Now, I'm gonna say there's kind of two types of waterproof. One type of waterproof that I think these boots are lined up for, and these ones as well, is if you're stepping across a small or shallow creek, you know, where you got a water line that's maybe yay high, and you step and step, and then you're on the bank on the other side. So you really didn't keep them submerged or anything. And then there's the type of waterproof where if you needed to stand in water to here or here, constantly, continuously, these things, you know, should keep the water out, but we both know that they probably will not. And especially depending on how the tongue is and wh where it's where it's stitched up to, but you know the tongue part right here is kind of the limiting factor of how high you can go up with the water, the waterproof nature of these boots. So I know I'm not going to use these very vigorously, so I'm not really concerned about the ultimate waterproof. But for the price, the look, the fit, the feel, they were excellent. 